Hi there, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. Just here to put down our weekly cards for the week beginning December the 9th. Um, so I'm going to have a little shuffle and put down one of our black and white Faulkner decks. And then I think I'll probably do an everyday witch. Uh, maybe Brian. Right, let's have a little look and see what we've got for the week coming up. Okay, so our card for this week from Faulkner deck is the Hierophant. I think they're so appropriate sometimes, these cards, because the Hierophant to me often comes up when we're talking about um, kind of spirituality. Not necessarily religion, religion, um, as you know, if you've watched my stuff before, <coughs> excuse me, I don't subscribe to any particular religion. I kind of don't feel like I need that kind of structure. I know what I believe in and that's what I believe and kind of don't enforce that on anybody else. <coughs> excuse me, let me just get a drink of my water. <clears throat> that's a bit better. And, um... You know, and I'm very kind of easy going when it comes to things like that. You know, just do what you want to do. Believe what you want to believe. As long as nobody's hurting anybody else, I'm kind of okay with that. So, um, the Hierophant talks about that. Talks about some spirituality. Talks about your connection with um, God, spirit, angels, source energy, whatever it is that you believe in. It talks about our connection with that. And as we're sort of coming up to the holiday time, a lot of us, not all of us, because not for all of us, this holiday is not religious. You know, it's just a nice couple of days off. Um, this, this, the Hierophant kind of asks you to think about your connection with the universe with spirit with whatever it is that you happen to believe in so it's a really appropriate card for this time it also asks sometimes for us to um be a bit more structured and maybe you know in this time um of year everything gets a bit higgledy piggledy might be a need for you to get a little bit more organized and a little bit more structured towards the beginning of the week so that is what our hierophant is saying to us and if I can not throw all the other cards all over the place I will have a shuffle of the everyday witch and we'll have one of those as well so I'll just give these a little shuffle So for the sort of second part of the week, we've got a card from the Everyday Witch. The Everyday Witch says Nine of Swords. So Nine of Swords is a difficult card. Now getting away from that, Nine of Swords is not an easy card. So it can be talking about loss and it can be talking about sadness and it can be talking about worries and all of those things, you know, that keep us awake at night, worry us and all the rest of that stuff. Um, you know, you, you can see that she is there, um, sad and worried. But if you look at the rest of that card, you know, there she is. Um, she's actually in a safe environment. She's kind of in a solid building, suggesting that there is solid energy around her. Um, she has her cat with her. Um, she has a, a bird with her that is looking out of the window. So that is a message saying to you to look forward. Um, it's important to acknowledge our sadness and our grief, of course. Um, and again, you see this time of year quite often holds that sadness for people. You know, people that we might have lost at this time of year. So, you know, if you have that going on for you this week, be gentle with yourself. Acknowledge that acknowledge your sadness but know that you have support around you and even if you are physically alone you are not spiritually alone none of us is spirit none of us is alone you know we all have spirit guides around us and angels around us and all those good things to be there to help and support us and you just have to ask them um 
that's all. So not such a not such a kind of happy um, card to have at the end of the week. But, you know, I, th I always think that when you look into the deepness of the card, there is there's hope there. You know, you look at the sun coming up through the window. The bird is looking towards the sun. The cat is there supporting her. Um, you know, she has her books and things still around her. She's got a bed. She's got blankets. Um, so nurture yourself. And know that actually, even though we have pain that we carry with us through life, you know, all of us have some, there is always hope um, for the future. So I'm going to pop down a Brian card for just to have a look at what he's got to say about the rest of the week. And see what we've got. Okay, so what he's saying is hold on tight and ride the hard times through. So that's quite appropriate, bearing in mind that we've got the Nine of Swords there. Um, it says, yes, it's going to be a bumpy ride, but I believe in you. Keep going. So it's talking about that. It's talking about moving through those times where things are kind of tough and, you know, moving through our sadness, acknowledging our pain. Um, I do like the law of attraction, as you know, and I do like positive energy and positive thoughts and all of that stuff. But I am also aware um, that it's really important for us to acknowledge our pain. Because if we don't, and we lock it away and we throw away the key, um, it will come back and bite us on the bum sooner or later you know so it is important to acknowledge our pain and to process our grief and all of that stuff it is really really important so don't um don't be afraid to be in that energy and process it if you need to you will get through it you will come through the other side yes you may come through the other side carrying a sadness um and sometimes we carry a sadness for the, our whole lives about something. You know, if we lose a loved one, um, that stays with us. It, you know, it becomes more manageable. We learn to live with it. Um, but it stays with us. So, you know, don't be afraid to acknowledge that that's part of life because, you know, it is. Um, so I will leave that with you for... The, this week do you take care of yourselves you know look after yourself if there is some of this sad energy around just just kind of be gentle be gentle always 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 be gentle with yourself don't push yourself too hard there's plenty of other people that will do that for you so you know you don't need to join in just be gentle with yourself thanks very much for watching if you've enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and if you like the channel and you would like to subscribe please do um, be lovely to see you and I'll be back again next week to do some more cards for Christmas week and I'm also doing my vlogmas each day so there's a video up each day with a card and a mindfulness message all the days going up to Christmas fingers crossed it's been really good this week it's been able to do them all can't promise that I can do every single day because I do go up and down with my energy levels but it's been good so far um, fingers crossed we're going to get there Thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.